What's going on everybody? Quick video. If you guys hear something like this, I'm going to quickly show you what we have here on a Freightliner Cascadia 2020 with the DD13. Truck has 954,000 miles. If you hear something like this, ciao. If you guys kind of hear that little sputter that it has. Now we just did an oil change on it, a fuel filter change. However, what I want to do is I want to show you guys this really quick relative compression test. We probably have to do a quick valve adjustment. So let's quickly do that really fast. Do run test, click on yes. When it's ready, crank, and then you're going to see the results to confirm. You hear that sputter? Let's find out what the results are. We are definitely due for a valve adjustment. Check that out, 5.5, 64%, 82%, that's a fail. Guys, it's due, it's time to do a valve adjustment. You guys have to remember to stay on top of that with the maintenance. Last thing you wanna do is spend you know, 10, 12, $15,000 on a valve adjustment when there really is no need to, I'm sorry, there is no need to do a cylinder head if you could just simply do a valve adjustment. Okay guys, so valve adjustment has been done. This is the 2020 Freightliner Cascadia with the DD13. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and do the crank test, automatic compression test. Let's see what the results are. Hi, Bacello. You can already hear the difference when it cranks. It doesn't have that struggle. All right guys, let's see what the results are. Okay, a lot better, except this one. 84%. That could be just something with the valves that are going bad, but everything else seems to have a great improvement. 97, 98, 97, 91, 84. So we've got something here where this will eventually need to get rebuilt. But with 900,000 miles, um, yeah, that's really up to the customer on what he wants to do in regards to replacing the head or simply taking care of everything else. So I'm going to go ahead and fire it up. I'm going to go ahead and verify oil pressure, make sure everything is good. And that is pretty much it. Watch on that. So just like that, guys, verify oil pressure, make sure that's good, and stay on top of those valve adjustments. Guys, if you love the video, thumbs up, like, subscribe, appreciate it.